Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In a recent interview with GQ Spain, Henry Cavill talked about his Superman story so far and what he wanted to do with it, and his comments were very interesting. Not only does he understand Superman and has a very clear vision for the story he wants to tell, but he did also reveal that he knows what the story was going to be for Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3. I'll play the clip for you now. I was very keen on really fleshing out Superman's early stages of his journey first. We had Man of Steel and then we went quite a bit darker with Batman v Superman. And if he were to uh, succumb to the anti-life equation and become bad Superman, I really wanted to make sure that we saw the hero, Superman, and we saw the, the, the true symbol of hope, the, the, the beacon of light, before we went down the path of darkness and then redemption. And still something that I am very keen to flesh out. Man of Steel. The wonderful thing about Man of Steel and what Snyder and Nolan and, and I wanted to do with, with Superman was create a Superman who was accessible in the sense that what would we do if we lived in a world where we had to keep every single aspect of ourselves hidden and we couldn't really truly interact with people and how would that affect us. It's especially when you have that scene with Kevin Costner who's, who's saying, look, don't, don't reveal yourself. The world is not ready for you yet, and it'll only, only be a bad thing. Clark does follow that, that advice at first, but then realizes that's not the way to go, and that he must do what he must do regardless of that advice. And that was the beautiful bit, is that even though he has restrained himself and lived this life of, of, of loneliness, essentially, he's still willing to step out of the shadows and become the hero, despite the fact that it's gonna have a negative impact on his life. And that, I think, is the aspect of that symbol of hope. It's, he's representing everything that is good about mankind, despite the fact that mankind may not be good to him. At the end of Man of Steel, it was set up so wonderfully to, to begin that journey because he had had his first outing against the last member, surviving member of his species and had to kill him. And that is going to inform a lot of who he becomes. The terrible destruction of Metropolis, where he's fighting a, someone who has the same powers of him, but actually has training. He barely makes it out of that thing alive. And so what lessons has he learned? He definitely isn't gonna kill anymore. And he's definitely going to make sure that population centers are completely removed from the equation because now he's experienced it and now he's thinking about it. And so we get those steps towards building that, that incredible, uh, wise version of Superman rather than the, you know, still wet behind the ears kind. So Henry Cavill wanted the audience to see more of the hero before he succumbed to the anti-life equation because Batman v Superman was the deconstruction of our most famous heroes. Cavill didn't think there was enough time to display the symbol of hope before turning evil. Now, I actually have to agree with him here. Even though I think the Snyder story for these heroes is a great one, I don't think it's a perfect one. After hearing what Henry Cavill had to say about his story, I think all of the heroes should have a solo film to develop their characters even more. All of them being set place after Justice League would be ideal, and then they can unite once again to take on Darkseid and his army. Having a second Superman solo film after Justice League can work, and I think they are kind of doing that at the moment for other heroes. In Justice League 2, the plan was to have all the Justice League members to go their own way and deal with their own problems, but Aquaman 2 and the Flash film are already doing that in their solo films. Not only that, but their stories are very similar to the stories that Snyder was going to tell in Justice League 2. So a Superman solo film could be created and it would fit very well in the universe. If they have it take place after Justice League, Clark and Lois can deal with their pregnancy and that could be a real strong part of the story. Having a two and a half hour film of Superman after Justice League would allow us to see more of that symbol of hope. I think in all three films that Superman has been in, 
those being Man of Steel, Batman v Superman and the Snyder Cut, he has displayed hope in all of them. But for two of those, he has had to share the story with at least one other hero. So to have another Superman solo film could really benefit the larger story as well as seeing more of Superman. If anything, it would make his downfall even more powerful. If we were to see him after Justice League adjusting to his new life, the responsibility of being a father, a husband and Superman all in one film would really make his downfall at the end of Justice League 2 so much more powerful, with losing Lois and succumbing to the anti-life equation. Snyder has already said that he has changed the story for the Justice League sequels, so he could do it again to allow more solo films to take place. Henry Cavill also displayed his awareness of what the story was going to be when he said, I really wanted to make sure that we saw the hero, Superman, and we saw the, the, the true symbol of hope, the, the, the beacon of light, before we went down the path of darkness and then redemption, and still something that I am very keen to flesh out. But he said he is still very keen on fleshing out that story. Now, I think he is talking about his own solo film, but I also think he is talking about his fall to the darkness in Justice League 2, and his redemption in Justice League 3. I think he just wants to make sure audiences see the true Superman before he falls to the darkness, which I get and I actually agree with. Like I said earlier, I really like Snyder's DC story, but if we can have more films that are connected to it where the characters are developed even more, which can give a larger impact on screen, then I'm all for it. Henry Cavill really seems to understand Superman and has a real passion for the story. He pitched a sequel to Warner Brothers who rejected it in 2018. However, the Discovery merger next year could open that possibility again. It seems to me that Henry Cavill has planned out his Superman story, and it's something that I definitely want to see. He understands and loves the character, so I think the story would be amazing. The question is, do you like Henry Cavill's idea for a Superman sequel? And do you think Warner Brothers should let it happen? Let me know in the comments below. There is a year and a half gap between Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. If Cavill wants a story before Batman v Superman and after Man of Steel, then they have 18 months to tell a hopeful story. It could be a smaller villain where we see that hopeful monument in the sky, and we could also see how he gets his new suit. We could see the rumblings of the criticism he gets in Batman v Superman, and we could see small hints at Bruce Wayne throughout, which would really build the story in between the two current films. The film could display that hope that Cavill and many others, including myself, want to see. Or they could have it set after Justice League like I said earlier. I'd like to know when you think a Superman sequel should be set, as I actually think a film in between Man of Steel and Batman v Superman could make a really good film. So let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.